Let's go. Back to club news. Because the one thing that I know and that I'm passionate about and I've got some information on is nightclubs. So, this is courtesy of RA. It says, the team behind Berners Renate opens up a new club called M01. The 400 capacity space will launch this month. Uh-oh, I got a new club to go to when I go to Berlin again. Yay! So, <laughs> this is courtesy of RA. It looks absolutely fantastic. And we're going to quickly read over this article to get an idea of it. Look at that. Nice, dark, industrial-looking club. Um, bare concrete walls. I think it looked painted with a few bits of lights here and there spread all over the place. But if anything, one of the things you have to realise, if you haven't been to Berlin or you don't care about this stuff, the most... The best thing about the clubs over there isn't really the interior design, which sometimes it's really nice, don't get me wrong. But the best thing about clubs over there is the sound. The sound is impeccable. They really invest heavily in the sound systems and to make sure they're perfect, to make sure they're great. And usually that's different. That's a difference maker for the most part in separating the clubs from other places around the world. And obviously Berlin's a bit of an anomaly because, you know, they, they give clubs grants to allow them to put, you know, soundproofing in. They don't usually buck to the pressures of local neighbours and gentrification and stuff. There's a balance. There's a good balance there. But in general, I love the onus on sound, on programming and whatnot and doing things the right way. So this is great. So it says M01 sits on the north side of Renault's building. The entrance is on the, have, how do you say that? Mark Graffendam, number one. The 400 capacity space is split across two floors and three rooms which is amazing. It kind of reminds me of um, People's Place. Uh, what's that? No, Plastic People here in London. Um, and also, I'm a big fan of spaces that are like 500 cap. I think that would always be my dream. If I opened my own club, my dream would to be have a club that's around 150 to 500. I think that's a perfect space to be able to book somebody up and coming and also have the odd big high profile person come in. Like, you know, I remember seeing, you know, for instance, I remember seeing uh, Richie Horton play a fold one time and it was fucking phenomenal. And he really enjoyed it too because he usually plays in fucking stadiums and shit so to be able to play in a small space like that is quite cool gives an intimate feeling and also there's enough space for like a small up and coming person to get a feel of what they're about and whatnot and to kind of cultivate a crowd anyway it says the 150 the 150 capacity dance floor downstairs plus a chill out area and space for live music and exhibitions and installations upstairs the club room features a lab lambda lab sound system while there are plenty of big clubs in Berlin, the city needs small venues for the community of DIY promoters and collectives here, said MA1's booking director, Alessandro Boni. Hey, Alessandro, book me at your bloody club, mate, please. All right, I'm going to send you loads of emails. I'm going to send you loads of SoundCloud links. Book me at your club. <laughs> we want to allow small, independent funded promoters to create their own parties without the financial risk of working in larger spaces. So M01 provides both the intimate setting and financial viability. So a viable opportunity to support the idea. That's pretty cool because that, that might work as a flipping... Um, that might work that might work as a funnel because they own so they own Salon Zur, Wilden, Renate and Else. Else is usually like an outdoor bar that only opens in the summer. But Renate is a really well known and you know established club in Berlin. So this new club MA01 could be like the the training ground to kind of cultivate small promoters, up and coming DJs, and then when they get to a certain level, they could then get, you know funneled over across to else or renate or even if they've got spaces you know they need to fill up they've got a whole roller list of artists who are willing and ready to play from m01 so it kind of works out really well there i love it i love it i love it up and coming events for ma01 are still tva the club says people can expect a broad range of sounds including house techno and electro launched in 2007 renate sits as a former apartment block of friedrichstein else is the team's open their summer venue is right across the street there's the pics of the event so yeah, the pics look great as you can see here dimly lit place low of loads of exposed brickwork i love this little led scheme i saw this when i went to oxy there were these nice led bars um and the bars don't just light up they had like a it's like an led bar of course so they, you can have like a gradient running across it so when i was in that bar called when i was in that club oxy the bars were kind of like zooming across and the light beams were, sh were kind of like going down like fucking daggers it was quite cool to kind of see especially if allegedly you were tripping out it was quite nice to see that kind of running through your head and they've got these really nice spotlights as well and it's like grid pattern which is in front of the dj booth which looks incredible i love that so yeah it looks really really lovely um so far no dates or idea on what the events are going to be let's quickly check the ra events listing to see if they've got any up and coming events yeah they do the first part is on the 31st of march it's called limelight volume one featuring ed davenport uh jonathan cavender matt fink and somebody else here and uh, who else yeah jonathan cadaver janham back to back i don't know none of these people actually 
These all might be local people that I'm not really too familiar with, but there it is. Up and coming night for MA, so, so for M01. If you're interested and you're in the area, check them out. It looks like a cool, interesting night. Of course, we love to see it. We love to see it.